video number three. Um, yeah, welcome to Rose Menagerie. So, um, I recently did a video about our homeschooling basket that we have in our dining room, where I'm at right now, and as well as um, my binder and kind of how I organize my thoughts throughout the school year. And I thought this would be a fun little bonus video. I kept referring to a third video, and I think this is what I originally thought. Anyway, so <laughs> these, I'm going to be sharing how I'm going to be organizing all the things the boys made this year so they're in one place and out of the way. So um, these are bins that I got at Michael's. Uh, they're just square like scrap paper bins. Um, I literally grabbed them because they were on sale uh, like a week ago. Normally ten dollars they were on sale for six dollars. It's just a clear bin and it has these little things and you open it up. It's maybe three inches tall. There's a thing flying there. Um, yeah, and that's what they are. And then I used my Cricut and I made a little pre-K sticker there and then the year and then the boys' names are on them. And then our, our school is Rose Academy and we are the Bumblebees. So I'll put little bees on there and the font is a Winnie the Pooh font, which makes me happy. We also studied, we read Winnie the Pooh last year and our whole year was themed Winnie the Pooh. So we're kind of going with that still. Um, you obviously don't have to do that, but I do, I think I like this. I say that because I change my mind about stuff very quickly, but I think this is going to be a good fit and we're going to, I'm going to show you what's going to go inside of these. Um, but the idea is that these are going to go inside of these big like Tupperware thing tins not Tupperware Rubbermaid um, bins that we have in the garage with the boys kind of like keepsake stuff that I'm still trying to figure out what to do with um, and the idea is that with the, having the year on here it'll just go inside of there and you'll in the future the idea is I could get more of these or similar bins maybe bigger if I need to and to store each school year stuff into it so as of right now I only have two things two types of things going in these but i will show those real quick this should be a really quick video but you could put anything you could go through art projects pick your favorite ones put them in there if you do like award ceremonies or if you have like knickknacks from your adventures put them in here um all kinds of things eventually i'm in the process of making a um, like yearbook for the year on shutterfly and um Eventually, I've, they'll probably go in here as well. So, so that's something else you can do too. All right, let's get into what's actually going to go inside. So there's two things, like I said, I mentioned two things. Um, one being their planners that they use each day. Um, these were just, I'll show you a blank one, from our dental and classical curriculum. Uh, she creates these wonderful organizers, and her intention is that you put them like in a menu binder, like menu binder but like the the menu looking booklets that have just basically clear sleeves you can even just do regular clear sleeves um, essentially you put it in a sleeve so that you can write on it with an expo and then erase it and reuse it every day which was great for a long time and then I wanted to change it up this year kind of did it mid-year and I just printed them off two to a page and um, made it into this little book I just printed them off and I took them I took it to office depot I think and had them bind it for me um so that this is one thing that's going to go in here and actually let me go ahead and pull this is Liam so in theory this will go in and then I have all of their journals which seeing their journals mostly done makes me so happy um there they are there we go. So um, we currently schedule our year into eight terms. And so each term they have a different notebook. And then I chose to color coordinate them. And I'm really glad I did because I love the way that looks. And especially on the shelf, it looked really, really pretty. 
Um, but yeah, so these are, I say mostly done. There is a page in here somewhere where we took one of our trees in our backyard and drew what it looked like in fall and winter. And I need to add, they need to draw their spring picture, which I took a picture of them with it. So we can do that for spring. And then we'll have to do a summer picture too. And then on the opposite of that page, we're gonna do a picture, it's the actual photograph I took and make a collage that can see the change in themselves as well as the tree. That's the only thing that when I saw when I say they're not done, that's what's not done. So these little guys are going to go in here as well in theory. So put those here and these here. Oh, I love this. Okay. So you ready to go for a ride? There you go. There's actually still quite a bit of room in here because this comes up and so you've got some room in there. That makes me happy. So like I said, um, welcome to the messy kitchen in the background. The idea is that we will put in the yearbook eventually. Um, I want, once I once I actually print the yearbooks, um, I'm assuming they're probably gonna wanna look at them, we'll probably have them on the shelf and stuff, but once they um, don't really do it anymore or whenever I feel the urge, I'll probably put those um, in here as well. And then, um, Right now, those are the three things that I have in mind. There's still, like I said, quite a bit of space in here. So um, as I continue to clean out their things, I might find other stuff that I wanna put in here. But for now, this is, this makes me happy. And so like the idea is that here they are, they're all inside. And I'll be able, like it says pre-K on top, and it'll just go in their little Rubbermaid tin. And all of their pre-K goodness is in here. Um, it seems to play, stay, you know, attached really well. But I know they, they also sell ones that have like the lock, lots of different ones. I, like I said, I got these because they were on sale. And um, we're going to try them out and see how it goes. Um, if you're like me, I have the hardest time knowing, knowing what to do with things when we're done with them. They put a lot, the boys put a lot of effort into these books. And so I want to make sure that they have them. And if when they get older, they don't want them. That's fine, I get it. Um, but for now, I want to have these for them so they can see their cute little drawings of trying to catch a chicken. <laughs> or, let's see. What kind of coop would you like your chickens to live in? And so here, oh, this lighting is horrible. There's Connor's drawing of a chicken and there's the coop. Um, love these i love looking through these and seeing how they've changed um and just their little hearts in a book form so anywho that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it uh comment below what other things you think would be good to include in here or what ideas you guys got from this video and uh, i will see you all in the next one be blessed